milk, water, egg, butter, salt, bread flour, sugar, yeast. So today we are gonna make buttery sweet bread. I grew up with this. My mom made it probably like three times a week in a bread maker that looked exactly like this one. I got this bread maker 10 years ago at a garage sale for like $5. It's still running good. So today we're gonna make my favorite bread. So if you've never made bread before in a bread maker, it's really easy. You make it in this nifty little pan or I guess this pan that goes inside the bread maker and it has this um, little paddle that mixes everything up for you but what you got to know about a bread maker is you have to put things in very specifically because you're using live yeast so if you've never cooked with yeast before it is a living thing and it's very temperamental so you have to do things in the order it says so on my recipe, it's listed in the order that you put it into the machine. Crikey, quick. This is the ingredients list. You better write it down quick before it goes. You ain't got much time. Here it goes. Here it goes. Going, going, and gone. So let's get started. First, we're going to use um, a third of a cup of milk. I prefer to use whole milk, but Logan's weird and he doesn't like whole milk. So whole milk. Then we're going to put a fourth of a cup of water, which I have a lot of water in here. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, water. Next, we're going to put a large egg. Ignore the shell that's on the outside. It's fine. We're going to put an egg in. Then you're going to put butter cut up, which this is three tablespoons of just regular butter. It doesn't have to be melted. It doesn't have to be room temperature. You kind of don't want it to be room temperature. I kind of prefer it to be cold because it hmm. has to do with how it makes the bread. Just like when you're making a pie crust, how you want it to be cold butter. This doesn't have to be cold, but I wouldn't want it to be room temperature. So you're going to put your butter in. I try to put mine on the opposite side of the egg because like I said, it has to do with how it's put in. So after we do our butter, we're going to do salt, which I measured it out. Usually I just put some salt in there, but I figured if we're going to be honest about how much we put in there, it's a, what is it? Three fourths of a teaspoon. So that's probably a little bit more than we need, but I like my bread to be a little salty. Much like me. Okay. So then we're going to put our bread flour in and you do have to buy bread flour. You can't just use all purpose flour. It makes better bread. So this is my bread flour here. I have gold metal, but it says bread flour on the packaging. And basically that just means it is basics. It doesn't have any like um, cooking powder or like baking soda or anything like that. And you're using your yeast to rise your bread. Hmm. Yeah, the more you know. So we're gonna put our flour in. Then we're gonna put Oh, you know what I totally forgot to get? Some what? sugar. Can you eat me some sugar? Three yeah. tablespoons of sugar. I totally forgot that. Here, you can put it in the butter container. Three tablespoons of sugar. And you can kind of play with the sugar. Like sometimes my mom doesn't want it to be as sweet, so she'll put a little bit less. It's not one of those that's super essential in how the bread rises. So you can kind of play with your sugar a little bit. If you want a little bit sweeter, you can add a little bit more sugar. Do you like sweet bread? Yes. Do you like sweet bread, Logan? I do like sweet bread. Good. So you're gonna put your sugar in, and the very last your thing- assistant Yes, has your my sugar. assistant. Assistant, ho, ho, ho. So last thing is your yeast. I don't know if you can see it, but when you get yeast out, like sometimes it sticks to itself, literally like kinetic sand. So, but it's like alive. So we put our yeast. You wanna, if you end up, when you're putting all your ingredients in, if you end up having a side that has like water or milk above the flour, which in here there is, you don't wanna put your yeast on that because it's gonna start, the yeast is gonna start being activated. So you wouldn't want to put it on the side that the water or the milk is on. You don't, why don't you want your yeast to be activated? Because it has a whole process and you want that to be the last thing that's activated. That's just how bread works. All right. You don't want it to start activating and it not be fully mixed into the flour already. Okay. All right, so 
those are your ingredients. So then all you're gonna do is close it. Then let me, let me bring my people over here. To okay, see. so you're gonna close it, and then there's a bunch of different options on here. You have basic for your basic white bitch, and then you have whole wheat, French, sweet, express bake. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use express bake, but we probably could. Do you wanna try that this time? Yeah, let's try. It cooks try. in 58 minutes instead of three hours. Hmm, you think it'll be good? I don't know, we can try it. We know the sweet bread is good. Maybe it's just warmer, or it just is faster. Double times it. Now you said last time we made medium on our crust, and you said that was too much, right? It was too much. So this time we're gonna go light. So then all you're gonna do is you are going to select, it says two, three, four, sweet, five is express bake. Then you're gonna do crust color, which it won't let me select that. And that might be because- It's express bake. It's express bake. So that's fine. So we're gonna start it. And in 58 minutes, we'll have bread. Supposedly. We'll see. Keep your corn on the cup. And now we watch it. So it's mixing all of our ingredients together. And you can see if I got the egg, it's gonna get the milk and the flour. And um, you don't have to, but especially on a bread maker that's this old, it's kind of nice to take a butter knife every once in a while and just kind of knock down the ingredients on the side. So with these old ones, I don't know about new ones, but old ones, you can open the top and that's totally fine. It's not gonna bother it. Now you don't wanna do that when it's cooking, but literally right now, it's only being used as a mixing bowl. It will only be used as a mixing bowl until probably 30 minutes in. Cause it's gotta make the dough into a ball and then it's gotta let it rest and all that kind of stuff before it starts making it. It don't actually get hot until it's ready to cook it. It's going. Notice, remember last time that took a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So I bet that's what it is. It just speeds everything up. It's going at it. I guess we could get a butter knife and knock some of it down. I have one over here somewhere. I did. Maybe I don't anymore. Oh, here it is. Don't look at where I'm getting this from. So we're just gonna knock down some of that flour, get it in there. Oh yeah, the express bake I think is just making it faster. And maybe it won't be quite as good, but that's okay. Because we're gonna have awesome dinner tonight. Cause what are we making, Logan? We make a lobster bisque. Or she's making lobster bisque. You're the taste tester. Oh, you know what? I think it's warming up. So I think it's just speeding through some of the processes that don't necessarily have to take that long. It's like, I guess if you heat it up. But what if the bread ends up not being good? Then we'll know for next Never time. Never do that again. Yeah, and that's fine. You'll cry a little bit, I know, but it'll be okay. Eight minutes and just beeped and let us know and Logan is beside himself. So no we can't take it out yet. So why are you so close? <laughs> I feel like we should take it out. It's done. It's well you gotta let it settle for a minute. Oh that doesn't look right baby. That doesn't look right? Why does mm -hmm. it not look right? It didn't expand all the way. Well we we did the fast bread setting. Yeah who knows? Hopefully it'll still taste good. How long do we have to wait to take it out? You want to take it out? No, your mom said to wait. Well, she didn't tell the way. I just said to wait. No, your mom said last time you used to take it out too quick. We're going to let it rest. We'll take it out in 15. How's that sound? We'll be back. We have waited the appropriate time. Now let's check the, the chef's bread. bread. All right, here we go. So it's hot because it's basically an oven. <clears throat> so when you take it out, you gotta use the little thing and it's clipped down in there, so you gotta pull it pretty hard. 
Now, sometimes it'll come out perfectly. Sometimes it won't. I'm not thinking this one's going to be as perfect as I want it to be. It's a little wonky. But hey, it doesn't always have to be perfect, right? Look, it's got personality. Let's cut Just it like open. us. Let's cut, cut it. open and see. Get your piece. It's very warm. I prefer to use a serrated knife. Oh, you can have a nice knife over here. I prefer to use a serrated knife because it cuts the bread better. I don't know if this is gonna turn out okay. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't look like it did. Doesn't smell bad. Looks pretty good. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll try a bite. It doesn't look bad, it's just really dense. With some butter? It's not good? You don't like it? We rushed it. I don't know that. It's not the same as your other bread. No, but we knew it's that. It's not the same at all. We knew it was going to be different when we made it in a different setting. I didn't know that. It's not bad. It's so sweet. Hmm? With some butter on it? Yeah. It's rushed though. Maybe you don't like the crust. You don't like crust anyway. Here. Try that part, it's very hot. If you get a middle piece, it'll be more like that. Mm. It's not bad. It's really not that bad. Mm -mm. I think his problem was he got this piece and he doesn't like dark crust anyway. It's not bad, considering it took us one hour to make homemade bread. Like, that's the takeaway on that. It's rushed, yes. It's ugly, yes. But, it's still bread. So I'm happy.